blessed are the poor in spirit. Matthew chapter 5, verse 3. The New Testament notices things that do not seem worthy of notice by our standards. Blessed are the poor in spirit. This literally means blessed are the purpose. Purpose are remarkably commonplace. The preaching of today tends to point out a person's strength of will or the beauty of his character. Things that are easily noticed. The statement we so often hear, make a decision for Jesus Christ, places the emphasis on something our Lord never trusted. He never asks us to decide for Him, but to yield to Him. Something very different. At the foundation of Jesus Christ's kingdom is the genuine loveliness of those who are commonplace. I am truly blessed in my poverty. If I have no strength of will and a nature without worth or excellence, then Jesus says to me, Blessed are you, because it is through your poverty that you can enter my kingdom. I cannot enter his kingdom by virtue of my goodness. I can only enter it as an absolute pauper. The true character of the loveliness that speaks for God is always unnoticed by the one possessing that quality. Conscious influence is prideful and unchristian. If I wonder if I am being of any use to God, I instantly lose the beauty and the freshness of the touch of the Lord. He who believes in me out of his heart will flow rivers of living water. John chapter 7 verse 38 And if I examine the outflow I lose the touch of the Lord. Who are the people who have influenced us most? Certainly not the ones who thought they did, but those who did not have even the slightest idea that they were influencing us. In the Christian life, godly influence is never conscious of itself. If we are conscious of our influence, it ceases to have the genuine loveliness which is characteristic of the touch of Jesus. We always know when Jesus is at work because he produces in the commonplace something that is inspiring.